You know how we do the Christmas parties? No, don't record this, because you can't. Well, as Tess and David already know, I'm not good at following rules. You're making, you're making me nervous. Well, obviously, if you've been anywhere for 17 years, there's something good there, right? The thing that makes it fun to come to work at Right Light every day would be, um, well, the people. The atmosphere. It's a family-oriented place. Uh, everybody is not a number. You got a name. I really did uh, think I uh, found a, a new home for the rest of my career. This company made me feel like more like a family than just a typical company. Everyone here is like really supportive, which I've got some friends and things at other companies that, uh, you know, they're kind of on their own. I consider all these people my friends. I mean, I spend more time here, we all do, than with our own families. This is our family. It makes you feel happy to come to work and enjoy your everyday career and not just the job. We've grown over the years tremendously, but you still have that you know, family feel to it. It could be very easy for the, the type of growth that Bright Light's experienced to lose that family feel, and it hasn't. Oh gosh, we went from a small building to a larger building, and now we're in this building, and we're adding on to this building. It's fun and games, but, but at the end of the day, we, we always get it done. It's fun to come to work, got a lot of fun people. Over the years, we've added more and more creative people, which makes it even more fun. And the environment, I guess they don't try to stifle your creativity. One of the reasons I liked being here is that I wasn't uh, prohibited from expanding out to my design input and, of course, fabricating things in my manner. Right Light Science has amassed a wealth of talent in their employees and their skills and knowledge about what they do just blows me away. But what Right Light Science has done for me has helped me grow as a person because after a while, I mean, it's exhausting to try to always have to, you know, what's next, what's next? Well, once I got here and I've been able to relax and just do my job and know that we're gonna have a great product. So my confidence and whatnot has gone through the roof. The whole sign industry seems really cool um, to learn all the aspects of what goes on into the sign. And Expanding on skills and developing new skills. I've got my CDL since I've been here and I'm working on my crane certification. And using, you know, the creative background that I've had. So it allowed me to, and, and the company, I think, to benefit from that. It's just a great place to learn, grow, and work. I had no idea before coming here that, that it would be like that. Definitely, I like copying Catch Pole and making fun of him and doing the walk behind him, whether he knows it or not. I remember when Dave got his first router table and he didn't have any of this plotter stuff or nothing like this. You know, he had just one little thing printing out vinyl and we were working in a five bay garage. But it was a nice, simple little sign, good looking product that we were building out of a, you know, a car garage. I know I had stories where I've fallen when I was a kid here. Uh, like I said, there's a, still a ball of tape up there I threw in there from probably the year 2000. Well, it was longer than that, probably about 98. I think that's, that's always been important to at least have once or twice a year where they get together. Christmas parties, and one year we did that Dirty Santa thing where somebody opens their gift first and you can steal it or whatever. Man, we put in a bunch of hours to here at work. Let's, let's relax and, and share a meal together. 
Catchpole went before me and he had a can and he said it's salty nuts. It's good to get your employees together outside the shop. Give them a little free time to be their sales, I guess, so, you know. As it was going around, I kept thinking, there's got to be more to that gift than just a can of nuts, you know? I particularly liked it when Biggin uh, put me in the crane bucket and all the way out and all the way up. Well, it was kind of cool. And I said, I want David's salty nuts. <laughs> Not realizing what I had said. And I'm sitting there, everybody's like, Okay. I like the Christmas parties, the family get-togethers we have all during the year. Uh, good camaraderie between everybody and good times. Guess what? There was a $50 gift card on the bottom of it. So yeah, I knew there was something more to those salty nuts. There are many projects that we've done. Uh, the Levity Live project, the improv that we did up in Cary was a really cool project. Carowinds, Conquer Mills, Katie Mills, all the big ones. Some of the wayfinding jobs that I've done are pretty big. All the signs you see around Cabarrus County telling you to go to the Intimidator Stadium, which I, I'm sure they'll have to come to us now and get it changed to the Cannonballer Stadium. Repeat work. Orange Theory, we built like 800 of them cabinets, and I think I built every one of the cabinets, and uh, we got a little burnout on them. The best one would be the Mellow Mushroom we did for Valentine. That, that's the one that made the magazine cover. There's a lot of sign companies that never touched stainless steel, and that's Blumenthal. The original Cookie, that was the first uh, national account they got, and I remember Tash was so happy about it. Just the ones that go as planned. <laughs> Katie Mills was a big one. I, I was very involved in the construction aspect of the job. Uh, J.W. Clay was another one I was intimately involved in. Before I started working at Right Light, I never knew how much fun it was to stake in 76 signs with David Catchpole. The very first project I did, and as a matter of fact, D2 and I did the survey on, which was, was eye-opening. Uh, for Stuart Haas. One of the most memorable was the Carmike account. That was new to me, working with the cinema. What I loved about it is they, they love custom signs, which is, you know, that's our bag, that's our wheelhouse. I just basically build the signs. <laughs> and basically, I come in on the front end designing uh, concepts, sketches, basically drawing pretty pictures just to give them an idea of what they might like. The project, the Fury, kind of threw me back into the fabrication mode where you try to envision it in 3D, develop a process that would have the best results at the end. I mean, it might be, it might be a home run, it might be just a total off. A lot of uh, structural design and some engineering and hands-on sculpturing. Oh, we were installing this huge sign for Rowan Cabarrus Community College, their North Campus. And um, I've just recently passed crane certification examinations, so got to operate the crane and you just get so excited about that, that kind of thing and after you get six pieces of a sign set and you've got this huge total piece left you just sit back and you think wow we did that and it's just amazing um, that that goes together the way it does.
the one thing I really like about this job in this company is no two days are alike. We do signs every day, but if you think about it, we never do the same thing twice. You learn something new every day. It's anything custom. <laughs> we like doing all the custom work. But it's fun. Every day is different. It's fast paced. You never know where the day's going to take you. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. That's what makes it fun is because you're you know moving from job to job and each job is different. It's been fun and it's been trying at times. Sometimes it can get a little hectic. Challenging to say the least. It was very Hectic. I mean, working in the signage industry, you have to be a problem solver. Um, you have to be a, a quick thinker. Um, you know, be able to adapt. Rainy days are not good to paint, but you got to work through it and figure it out and get it done. And I think it goes kind of unnoticed the installation side of it. I mean, that, I think that's the more difficult job here at Right Light. And so those guys that can go out there, they're, they're the ones that really have to be able to adapt and be many MacGyvers in a sense. I built a lot of these restaurant signs. I guess they go in downtown Charlotte or South Boulevard to hang off the sides of the building that are kind of old fashioned looking. I like building stuff like that. You know, and that's what I like about working here is because it's not a punch out shop, it's a custom shop. Yeah, yeah, when I hear a, of a big one coming up, I get excited like the Katie Mills Tower. It's pretty exciting. As most people know here, I'm a detail kind of person. I enjoy it, I thrive on that. As you know, I like to have things my way or do things my way. The, the creativity comes out that way and it's, it's, it shows with all the work that we do. Right Light and as a whole um, values your skills, your skill sets and puts them in the best position to be successful. We're using materials and things that stay with the time and move beyond it. I think we've expanded our capabilities and uh, I really wouldn't worry about fabricating anything at this point. Or drive down the highway every night going home. Hey, we did that sign. That's a great feeling. Yeah, down on Highway 29 in Harris Teeter was at the shops at Davison. It's a green triangle sign. I built that. It's nice when you can go from, I guess, from Charlotte to here and see, basically seeing signs saying, hey, I did that. And uh, I think it's worked out that way. Any questions? Oh, you're so sweet, Eric. Tasha and David, I just wanted to let you know that we uh, we didn't hit everyone that uh, that necessarily wanted to, to say something just because of timing. And you know, from me, you know, personally, I've really enjoyed my time here, and I really do look forward to what we will be doing in the future. Congratulations! Thanks so much because you built a really nice company and it didn't happen by chance. You and Tasha have done a fantastic job. So congratulations on 30 years and wish you the best going forward. Well, I hope I've done the job they expected out of me. I think I have. If I hadn't, I don't think I'd be here right now. But uh, I've enjoyed it and I hope they stay in business another 30 years. And congratulations on 30 years of business. Glad to be a part of it. Congratulations. Hey, David and Tasha, I just want to say happy 30th. I wish you uh, nothing but the best on the, your next 30 years. And I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a Right Light family member. You know, I, I get to work at a great company every day, um, and I get to go home to my family every day and support my family because of all the hard work that you guys put in. And I'm very grateful for that. David, Tasha, I want to say congratulations for 30 years with Right Light Signs. With a lot of hard work and a lot of determination, you build a strong and successful company. Happy anniversary, Right Light, 30 years, that's awesome. Congratulations, David and Tasha, on 30 years. Many congratulations. You should be so proud of what you built. I feel like it's a privilege to work here. You guys are just the best, thank you. David and Tasha, thank you for believing in my creativity to bring me on to do creative stuff. David and Tasha, congratulations on your 30 year anniversary of the company. You not only made a great company for yourself, but you've left a legacy for your kids uh, and your grandkids if you choose, if they choose. Uh, you surrounded yourself with some great people uh, here in the company. So my thought is that you've done that. Now take advantage of it and spend some time with your grandchild and your grandchildren to come and take your camper and do some traveling and enjoy life. Good luck.